right, everybody. Hello and welcome. So today we found out that the EOS Canon webcam beta actually now has its first initial non-beta software. So um, I want to we're going to test it now. If you're like me, the beta version has had a lot of issues and glitches and it only worked probably like two or three times fluidly and it does drain the battery naturally because any Canon DSLR is actually utilizing a lot more camera or battery life than what you're going to get out of the standard webcam naturally, of course. But now I've gotten to this point and maybe like you guys that... Um, when I launch it, it'll work for like three seconds. And I've made sure, watched a bunch of other videos about all these issues and fixes. The quick, short videos all tell you, hey, make sure that the Wi-Fi is disabled on the camera settings and make sure that the other utility software isn't running. So I never downloaded the other utility software. Um, I've only used the beta and I just uh, did a uninstall of that. And um, right now, what we have here is the EOS webcam utility setup uh, still. So before I get into that, you, know, you do want to have to go over to this actual website at usa.canon.com, internet portal, US home support, details, cameras, and then select uh, the software. It should be at the top right now. It's just September 18th. Uh, it shows it actually came out on September 16th here in 2020. But um, you'll want to download it. It does show up as a zip. Uh, folder so you have to extract it. What I went ahead and did is created on my desktop here a webcam utility folder. Um, inside that folder you'll find these details. There's the standard MSI, the 64-bit MSI, uh, README, and then the setup. So what we're doing right now is just starting after extracting the zip folder uh, starting the setup.exe. So it's collecting information. Of course you have to check I accept the terms because that it is uh, blah blah blah. If you can, please read all this stuff. Uh, it does matter because that's where they hide all the stuff naturally. But you're not going to be able to get it unless you click it. So uh, inevitably you're going to do what I'm doing right now. I accept these terms. Um, blah blah blah. I have it uh, program files can and that's fine. Uh, install. So yep. I have to allow it to change my computer if needed. I always trust. Um, install. And then finish. Okay, so at this point, um, if it's like the other software, I'm actually going to have to restart my computer. Um, but without doing that, let's do a quick test and see if I can get this. Now I'm going to actually detach the um, the USB connection because you need to use the cable from your DSLR over to the computer by, via USB. So I've had that plugged in. Now I I'm going to have it disconnected, still attached to the camera and see if this changes anything. But let's go back over you don't need to see my face. So I have OBS now open. Um, I had originally selected this as a new screen for Canon, but there's no source. So this is in OBS Studios 25.0.8. Um, I'm going to try and do a video capture device again. We'll just call it Canon T7i. And of course, that's for create new. OK. And it does still show up EOS webcam utility. So it's not showing up as the beta anymore. So I do know that it's pulling what I want it to, which is what I just downloaded. So let's see if this will actually work. So I just clicked OK. Come over here. I'm going to grab that USB I just pulled out of the computer, connect it back in via USB. I'm still not getting any signal from the DSLR, but it is off, so that's understandable. I have it just here over on the side of me, so I'm going to flip it 
into video mode. So it's on now. Okay, so this is my DSLR. Blah, blah, blah. There I am. Um, you can see the, my TV screen, my microphone, blah, blah, blah. But I'm here in the studio, and as long as it lasts here longer than a couple seconds, it's actually working better. So now I can, of course, use this in OBS, stretch it, make it bigger along the screen, move myself off screen, whatever. But the beauty is now it's working. Oh, I gotta move the microphone. Maybe you can't hear me. But yeah, it is uh, it's officially working. Now the cables can get loose, so you do not wanna jostle the camera too much. But so far, so good. So my, my opinion is that there's a big chance that that beta software, I actually downloaded it not but a couple days ago anyway, so very close to probably the 16th or so. And there's a good chance that a lot of it was skipping out because they just launched the new update. So if, if you, like me, have been wanting to use your DSLR for webcam and gone through this whole process of using the beta software, do you know there is actually some new software now. So go ahead and uninstall the old beta. Go back to that portal on Canon's site. Download that and let's get going because it's, it's nice to have the best video quality, whatever you're doing on your Zoom calls or you know doing your live streams. And these webcams are just absolutely horrible. So, you know, let's, I'll even, I'll show it to you here real quick. Uh, maybe I can. Da, 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 da. Maybe I can't right now. I don't have it installed. But nonetheless, I hope this video helps. If it does, like, comment, and subscribe. Or like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> so that uh, you can get this software up and running. So, thanks for watching. Peace.